Hi guys, Mark here with Walter's World. We're in Vicenza, Italy, in the Veneto, basically the state that's, that Venice is in, if you're not sure where it is, one of the most beautiful parts of Italy, and I've spent a lot of time here over the last few years, and I really love it. And so today's video is the top 10 towns to check out when you're in the Veneto. Basically what to see, what to do, all kinds of stuff. Now the first place you want to check out when you go there is obviously Venice, the capital. Guys, Venice is beautiful with all the canals, the Grand Canal going through in the middle, walking over the Rialto. Even with all the tourists there, it is beautiful. We have top 10 videos of Venice, thanks to doing Venice, all kinds of stuff there. If you watch our Learn Italian videos, there's a lot of them filled in Venice. And guys, just going around, uh, go to the San Mark, St. Mark Square or Piazza San Marco with, the, with San Marco Basilica. The Ducal Palace, there's tons of museums, tons of beautiful churches in, in Venice to check out. But what you want to do is just wander the city. It is beautiful there, okay? Now, the, our top ten list, it's not necessarily in order one, two, three, but there's just ten cities you should check out in the Veneto. So I don't want you to think it's like rated in order, it's just kind of like, you know, things to check out. But probably Venice would be the number one to check out. Anyway, the second town you want to check out is Verona. The city of Romeo and Juliet. Hey, Caleb, come here. Now, Verona is a really great town because there's, I mean, you have the Piazza Erbe, which is this, you know, square with the markets and everything, and some nice fountains in it. Right next to it is Piazza di Signori. Hey, buddy. The Piazza di Signori, which has a, which has a uh, statue of Dante in it, which has these amazing palaces around it, which is right by there. You have the old castle, Castello Vecchio, you can go into, which has some museums, a great bridge, old bridge to walk over to get your, you know, family picture stuff. And the specialty food to eat in Verona is? Say it real loud. Horse food. Horse food or horse meat. Did you like horse meat? Was it good? Yeah. See, he actually ate it. And if this four-year-old could eat horse meat, so can you. It is really good when you go there. And if you're going to eat horse meat in your life, do it in Verona. That is the place to check it out. Thanks, buddy. And there you go, guys. It's polenta with kind of a horse stew, caval. Okay? I haven't tried it yet, but I have here a nice little spritz with it, and we'll see how it goes. So I have a little bite for you. Mm. It's pretty good, actually. I recommend it. It's good. Can you go sit back down? He wanted to make sure that I told you the horse meat was good. He was helping me with that. Now, uh, the third town you want to check out is here in Vicenza. This is my personally favorite town because I have a lot of friends here. I've got many soccer games or calcio games here. Uh, but also, if you're an architecture buff, Palladio, Andre Palladio, this is his town. The city is full of his palaces, buildings, villas, all kinds of stuff. You see that architectural influence. You can tell that one of the greatest architects in history is from here because that that is throughout the city you'll see it. The Villa Rotunda right outside of town is most famous villa. Inside town you have the Teatro Olimpico. It's a basically uh, it's a you know 800 year old theater that in the 1500s Palladio redid inside to give it the old Roman feel. It's basically the original 3D. Beautiful stuff. I'll put some pictures on here so you can check it out. Um, Vicenza is also really, what I like to eat here is Bigli con Arna, which is big fat spaghetti pasta with a duck sauce. It's a good dish from here to check out. And there, I mean, there's a couple other little museums to check out here, some churches. I mean, basically, though, the big thing is all the Palladio influence, Palladium influence that's throughout the town. The Basilica, uh, the Piazza di Signore. You'll hear Piazza di Signori a lot of times because that's usually the main square in Venetian towns. Okay. Now the fourth town to check out is Padova. This is a university town. It's almost nice and all these things, but the two places you really want to check out when you go to Padova is one, the Basilica, the St. Anthony of Padova. If you ever go to the church today, oh, it's St. Anthony of Padova. This is his basilica. They have his old clothes, all kinds of stuff. Because the, the cathedral isn't the cool church. It's the Basilica of St. Anthony. It is an amazing church. You go there and you're just like, wow. It is 
unbelievable. Even for Italy, it's an unbelievable looking basilica inside and out. So definitely check that out. The other place you definitely want to check out when you go there is the Scrovini Chapel. I can never say Scrovini right, so Scrovini Chapel basically it's a time ticket thing, so you buy it and you have to come back later in the day. All these frescoes inside of the chapel are amazing, definitely worth checking out. When you're coming from the train station, it's probably one of the first tourist things you'll hit, you'll come into. Definitely worth checking out. The city has a beautiful central park to check out, some other nice churches. And it's a university town, so there's, you know, people all around, young feel to it, lively town. Uh, the market is nice to check out by the Palazzo de Regione. Regione. That's really cool, the market right there. It's just a nice town to walk around, makes a nice day trip. Okay, the next town to check out is Treviso, another university town. It's got some wall city, nice little square inside, just kind of nice little chill out town. What I personally like is they have, they used to, I mean, they still have the st a statue, the original statue in the museum, but they have a statue that used to, it was a naked woman, and out of one boob shot red wine, out of the other boob shot white wine. So I think any town that has that, pretty cool. Okay. Okay, now it just shoots out water, but still, it's still pretty cool that they had that. Okay, the seventh place, or the, sorry, the sixth place to check out is Bassano di Grappa. Grappa, you know, the, the, the shot that you have here that's like almost like a vodka kind of thing, or a homemade liquor kind of thing, or a moonshine kind of thing. What Whatever. Grappa is from this town. This is the original place. It's a beautiful small town right by the mountains. Right, It's about a half hour, 45 minutes on a bus north of Vicenza. Beautiful background. Beautiful little village just to walk around. There's a bridge there done by Palladio. The city itself has got a few little nice museums. It makes a nice base to go hiking and around. Really nice place to check out. I definitely recommend going there. And also you got to have the grappa when you're there and you have a mezzo mezzo when you're on the bridge because they actually sell the shots on the bridge, the historic bridge, so it's kind of funny. Okay. Next place to check out, number seven, is Cittadella. Cittadella is on the slow train line between Venice and Vicenza. And basically it's a walled city and you can literally walk the entire wall all the way way around. It is kind of cool to do that because you're like walking around you see the whole city. There's a couple of little nice things to see inside but it's kind of like one of those nice little easy day trips take kids so they see wow the walls you can walk around it things like that so it is pretty cool. I really like going there. Number eight if you're going a little bit farther north most people associate the Dolomites with like going to Trento and Bolzano and all the, and those things but you can actually get to them from the Veneto too beautiful mountains to go hiking, to go up to Belluno, that's going to be a nice little gateway into the, the Dolomites to do your, your hiking or your skiing, things like that. Another one of those towns up by there is Asiago. That's number nine. Now Asiago is famous for its cheese, the Asiago cheese. If you have a chance, if you haven't had one, you definitely should have it. When you go there, there's tons of cheese shops, so don't worry. It's like a shopping street of just cheese shops. But there, they have an amazing World War One monument because there's a lot of battles fought right there. A lot of people lost their lives there during the war. It's a great monument to the First World War, and also it makes a good base for going hiking in the mountains and skiing and things like that. And the tenth place to go in the Veneto is Morostica. Now, Morostica is famous because they have a human chess tournament every year, I think it's everywhere, in their, in their town square, so you can play chess with your friends. Nice little town, a couple little castle kind of things there to check out, really nice to check out. So, the top ten kind of, day, it could be day trips from Venice or whatever, but the top ten places to go see in the Veneto. One, Venice. Two, Verona. Three, Vicenza. Then we get out of the V words. Four, Padova. 5. Treviso 6. Bassam di Grappa 7. Cittadella 8. Go to the Dolomites in Bologna. Or just go to the Dolomites, sorry. 9. Asiago and number 10. Morostica. Those are our top 10 in Veneto. Now if you're in Venice and you want to go a little bit farther, not Veneto, but a little bit close to Slovenia, three nice towns to check out. Trieste is cool, um, but I like Udine because the, the, the square and the, the, and the, the church there is really nice. Udine and Goriza. Okay, those are those like three little extra towns on the end. So if you want to learn more about traveling in Italy, Europe, America, South America, North America, wherever, come check us out at our website, www.waltersworld.com. Bye.